Lancashire strengthened their position on day three at the Kia Oval as they bowled Surrey out for 319 in forcing the follow-on. Chanderpaul put Lancashire in a strong position at the end of day two, helping his side post a mammoth 470 before Jarvis took two important wickets for the visitors. Burns came out to bat on day three on 48 not out, accompanied by Sangakara, with Surrey trailing by 358 runs. The opener brought up his half-century in the second over of the day and pushed on with his new partner Sangakara, the pair forming a formidable-looking partnership. Both batsmen looked comfortable as they edged towards their 100 partnership. However, in the 68th over of the innings, Jarvis picked up his third wicket, Burns nicking off to Davis for a fine 91. Four overs later, Sangakara was also dismissed, four runs short of his half-century, as he chipped the ball straight to Livingston at mid-wicket, giving Lancashire the momentum as the two sides headed in for lunch. There was an attritional ten overs of play after the interval as Parry and Kerrigan applied the pressure on Sibley and Folks, and in the 89th over, Kerrigan was rewarded, bowling Folks for nine. Ansari joined Sibley at the crease, but four overs later, a mix-up led to the run-out of Sibley, who was back in the pavilion for ten. Surrey ticked the scoreboard along slowly, but struggled to score boundaries due to some tight bowling from the visitors, and in the 101st over, Kerrigan picked up his second wicket, bowling Ansari for three. The Curran brothers attempted to better Surrey's position, but they only put on 17 runs together before Sam chipped the ball to Kerrigan off McLaren for 14. In came captain Batty, who managed to up Surrey's run rate with Tom Curran as they both picked up boundaries, batting through until T, the score 311 for 8. After the break, the pair put on 57 runs together until Parry finally got the breakthrough, dismissing Batty for 33. Surrey just needed two runs to avoid the follow-on, but the very next ball, Parry beat tail end of footed, who was out LBW for a golden duck to bring Surrey's innings to an end on 319. The hosts were predictably asked to bat again. Not even six overs were bowled before light rain forced the players off the field temporarily. But play resumed and in the 12th over Kerrigan dismissed Burns for 20, caught behind by Simpson. In came Borthwick who managed to survive with Stoneman in a tricky final period of play and the two came off the field with the score 55 for one at Stumps. Great day for Lancashire in the end as Kerrigan and Parry helped their side bowl Surrey out for 319 to enforce the follow-on. Both spinners will look to lead Lancashire to a last day victory at the Kia Oval as Surrey still trail by 96 runs with nine wickets remaining.